to the so today we're going to do an overview of traveling within Zambia. We'll see how, yeah, let's, let's briefly talk about it. Um, basically, travel in Zambia has become much, much easier. Transport and communication systems within Zambia are improving um, as things should improve time in and time out. It's become very, very good and easy, much, much easier to travel within Zambia. Road network, which is the most common transport, road network, has improved. Um, for example, we have the new, the Solwezi road was done, so that road is good. Chingola Kitway is now a dual carriageway. It's almost complete, uh, but that's a dual carriageway. Chipata, from Luangwa Bridge in Luangwa, all the way to Chipata, we've got a brilliant road there. Um, one of the best roads in the country, if uh, I must say so myself. Kalabo Bridge, road bridge, whatever it is, from Mongo to Kalabo. That's a very flat plain with a lot of, um, it's a flood plain. Flat, flood plain. Um, it often has water. So we have Kalabo Bridge there. It's been done up. So, yeah, road network has been improved in the country, I have to say. Uh, the pedicle is almost done uh, as you're going to Luapula from the copper belt. And um, you can now connect to Kasama through, from Mansa through via Luingu. That place has been back then, you could only go up around that way. But now you can connect, there's a new road there. So road connection has really improved. Um, the Mazabuka in the news last week. The government wants to work on the Mazabuka Road from Turnpike up to Mazabuka. That road was really finished, as most of you who've used it before would know. Um, so yeah, overall, road network has improved. Um, that's, that's generally about roads um, in Zambia. So in general, transportation and communication has really, really improved in Zambia. Um, we'll talk about... I'll break this into four, the four means of transport around Zambia. Um, and build it up from there. I'll start in alphabetical order. I'll start with air transport, okay? Air transport is still a preserve of the upper class here in Zambia. It's not very cheap to travel by plane. Um, and so it's not, it hasn't expanded that much. Uh, but we still have a lot of, it's still growing, it's a growing industry um, and we have a lot of services within Zambia where you can travel by the plane. Um, we've got Mahogany Air, <coughs> the insignia of African hospitality. Yep, Mahogany Air uh, and ProFlight. ProFlight is one of the more, I don't know what I wanted to say. Yeah, ProFlight and Mahog Mahogany are the two most common commercial um, airlines in Zambia. It takes you all over. Um, there are quite a number of destinations it goes to. Solwezi, Ndola, um, Kasama, Fue, um, Livingston. Pro Mahogany takes you to, they recently opened to Mansa. Um, so they have a lot of nice services as well. They go to Livingston. Uh, and to the copper belt. We have a few other airlines. We have Royal Air Charter, but that one's a charter service. Um, we have Staravia, and a few lesser known airlines within Zambia. Um, so air transport is, is, is growing bit by bit um, here in Zambia. The airports, we've got four major airports. Livingston, Lusaka, Ndola, um, and Mfue. Those are the major airports in Zambia. Harimonga Kumbula in, in, uh, in um, Livingston, Simon Mwasaka Puepue in Ndola, and KKIA, Kenneth Kaunda International Airport in Lusaka, which is under 
a very big renovate, well not renovation, but there's a whole new terminal being built, a whole new thing coming up. So that one is uh, up and running. Um, I don't know when. I don't know when KK the new terminal is going to be, but it's, it looks really beautiful. It's a much big, very modern uh, and advanced terminal. The old, the current structure is going to be used for local routes. And the new one is going to be used for uh, international flights and so on. So that's about air transport. Tell me about air transport. Have you traveled within Zambia uh, by air? Tell me how your experience was, um, your domestic flight. What airline did you use? How was your experience? Where were you going? And what do you think? What, what improvements would you like to see in air transport in Zambia? The second one we'll move on to is rail. Train. Um, train was a very popular means of transport and it still is. In the West, it's a very big thing. So, um, yeah. Here in Zambia, we've got two major railway providers or railway companies. Number one is our own Zambia Railways, Zambia Railways Limited. Um, <coughs> And for passengers, we're mainly talking about passenger transport. So for passengers, it mainly carries, uh, runs a service from Livingston to Kitwe. There's a train which uh, goes uh, between Livingston and Kitwe. I have a video actually talking about that. So please look at that train travel in Zambia, an introduction, um, where I explain Zambia railway services. They also offer Mlovesi, from Livingston to Mlovesi. There's a short stretch there. Um, so yeah, there's uh, a bit of a service which is offered there. That's Zambia Railways. The second one is Tazara. Tazara starts from... Now Tazara is a joint venture between Tanzania and Zambia, as the name suggests. Tanzania Zambia Railways Authority, Tazara. So we have Tazara Railways as well. Um, Tazara runs from Kapirimposhi. Their station there is called New Kapirimposhi. I'm assuming there's old Kapirimposhi station, but from Kapirimposhi all the way to Dar es Salaam in Tanzania or Tanzania, how do you pronounce it? Tanzania uh, to Dar es Salaam. It's a long journey. So there's two services. Their train is called Kilimanjaro um, service. So that leaves on Tuesday. Um, there's Kilimanjaro and Mukuba. I think those are their two trains, Kilimanjaro and Mukuba. So we have a third, but this is not a Zambian rail service, but it uses the Zambia line, the Rovos Rail. The Rovos Rail is a luxurious train from South Africa. Um, so they do a trip through Zimbabwe, through Botswana, from South Africa, through Botswana, Zimbabwe, comes into Zambia, proceeds to Dar es Salaam. And then comes back. So I've only mentioned it because it actually uses the Zambian the line. It comes through Zambia. And you can see it every now and again. We've got another video where it was coming through Lusaka. Um, you can only you can't catch it along the way. It's not a commercial uh, train in that sense. So even if it comes through Zambia, you won't stop it in Lusaka and board. You have to start your journey from Pretoria, where the Rovers headquarters is. Uh, and you go all the way to Dar es Salaam. So that's about railway transport. Um, there's a bridge being built at Kazungula. So just last week, again in the news, the Zambia Railways uh, um, um, manager, CEO, was talking about making that connection from uh, Livingston into Zimbabwe. So we don't know how that is going to progress. It will be interesting to see what services are going to be offered. So. That's about railway transport in Zambia. Um, I've used the train a couple of times, and there are a couple of videos actually, as well. So be sure to watch those as well. We had a new line proposed by uh, Mr. Ino Kavindele from Chingola connecting to Solwezi and out through Angola, Luanda. Uh, I've forgotten the name of that company, and I don't know how far that has gone. Uh, but that's that's pertaining to railway services within um, within Zambia. The next one we shall go on to 
is road, traveling by road or bus. I have to say, I think this is the most common used transport now between cities because of its convenience, um, in terms of timing schedules, and because of its cost as well. It's much cheaper than a plane, it's much more convenient and much more, co much more regular. It's much more convenient and much more regular than the train and it has much, much more destinations. Um, now that the road network, oh not now, but the road network has expanded so widely in Zambia that we've got buses going everywhere. Um, so yeah, large, um, uh, our most, so we've got three types of buses in Zambia. We've got the small local ones. My highest, okay. Uh, these take you within town from one neighborhood to the next and back into town center. Uh, and then you've got Rosas. Rosa buses take you in between cities, or in between towns, uh, from Kitwe to Ndola, from Monze to Choma, uh, from Chipata to Petauke, wherever it is you're traveling, you find a lot of Rosas um, and the highest sometimes as well, taking you. Uh, but we want to talk about long distance travel. We have luxury coaches, a lot of big coaches. Um, Marco Polos, commonly, popularly known as Marco Polo. Oh, Marco Polo. Yeah, um, these have become very common. Before um, 1990, we had UBZ. UBZ was. United Buses of Zambia, that was our service, it was state owned and used to provide services within Zambia, around Zambia, uh, but once President Shilova came in and the MMD and they liberalized the economy, we had a proliferation of buses, bus companies now offering those services which were then previously provided by the government, so we had a lot of um, uh, bus companies opening up. CR was one of the most common. Euro came on board. You had LY30. <coughs> we had quite a number. Jordan came in. Um, and now, airlines, we've got two major airlines. Uh, train services, we've got two major train services. But the abundance of bus services is amazing. We've got buses going everywhere. We've got so many companies. Uh, opening up and offering a service around the country. So wherever you want to go, you're sure to find a big bus. Um, especially if you're traveling long distances, you really want to use a big bus. Um, I've, I've listed, I mentioned a few. Um, Euro Africa, which goes to the Copper Belt. You've got Jordan, which has one of the widest networks um, of services around the country. You've got Likili, you've got LG, you've got Wadachovu, you've got ACK Logistics, you've got Jonda Bus Tours, you've got uh, CV Transport from Kawe. Um, you can go anywhere, all the way to Minilunga, you can go to Chavuma, you can go to Chipata, you can go to Petauke. Um, anywhere, you can go to Kashikishi and buy some fish. Uh, Livingston, Sesheke. Senanga, you've got Kashua.com, you've, you've got so many, we've got so many buses in Zambia now, offering so many services, I'm sure I've left out a lot, but um, the road network has really, really expanded and public service, bus services has really grown, you're sure to, if you're from within, you've probably used one of these, if you're from outside, trust me, you can get your bus anywhere, uh, you don't need to book in advance, buses are found at Intercity every day, just do a bit of research, ask the Kumba guy, and you find your way around. Um, so yeah, bus service in Zambia, bus travel in Zambia has really improved. Um, I've also got a few videos of my journeys around the country, so be sure to watch those. Um, yeah, and you can see what, uh, um, what services are in Zambia. Almost everyone has traveled. Tell me, what's your experience of bus travel in Zambia? Um, what, what's your preferred service provider, bus company, what's your preferred, uh, what routes have you used, which routes have you not traveled, uh, give me your experience, what would you like to see improved in bus transport in Zambia, um, I'd like us to discuss some of these things, um, 
Speaking of which, we've got two major stations. Big, big stations. Well, three. But we've got a number. Our biggest station is Intercity Bus Terminus. That's the hub of bus transport in Zambia. Intercity. You can get a bus to anywhere from Intercity. Um, yeah, you can literally get a bus to anywhere from Intercity. One or two routes are connecting routes, like Chavuma, you connect somewhere, because that's very far. But you can get a bus from anywhere. There's a new station being built in Livingston. We've got KMB, which is one of the busiest, the very busy. That's in Kitwe. Um, we've got Kapata Station in Chipata. Yeah, and a few other stations around the country. So yeah, that's about um, bus transport in Zambia. You can get a service anywhere. So tell me, please comment, tell me what you think. Tell me your comments about uh, traveling in Zambia. Um, and finally, our fourth means of transport in Zambia is water transport. Now water transport is a bit complicated because um, we don't have so many navigable, easily navigable water bodies. A recent fact I learned, Zambia has the, one of the most abundant water resources um, in Africa. Uh, but many of the main rivers are not navigable. Um, Kafira River, we've got Luango River, Kafira River, Zambezi River, um, if you know your geography. Chembeshi River, we've got Luapula River, um, and a few lakes, Lake Pangwelu, Lake Kariba, Lake Tanganyika. Those are the major lakes. So most of water transport in Zambia is just short hops uh, from one town to a little island and it's very yeah it hasn't developed as much here in Zambia um, so 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 yeah but we do have yeah so mostly it's large um, um, short hops and luxury cruises cruise ships um, like in Livingston there's a cruise ship in Kafu cruise ship not a cruise ship <laughs> um, just yeah just medium average sized boats uh, we have some in Livingston we have some on Kafue River at Kafue in Kafue town um, there's a boat which can take a lot of the cruise and recently in the news we heard that there is something being introduced in Luapula on Lake Banguel in Sanfia so that should be interesting to see. We're waiting to hear what that is very, very soon. Uh, the Polar Expo, that news was, uh, I just caught wind of that. So we're hoping to see how that's going to come. Um, so that's water transport. I'm sure you can catch a boat from Siavonga to, into Zimbabwe across Lake Kariba. Um, and you can catch a few small boats here and there. I went on a small boat and in Lower Zambezi, on uh, Zambezi River, but all those are just small rides and so on. So that's water transport in Zambia. Ooh, it's not very developed, but I'm sure you can still find um, a few things. There's a big, not a ship, I don't know if you can call it a ship. Yeah, there's a ship in Lake Tanganyika, the Liemba. It travels from Congo, it connects Congo, Tanzania and Zambia. Um, on Lake Tanganyika. I don't know if those are the countries. Yeah, and I managed, I was once in Mpulungu uh, and uh, uh, by God's grace I was there when that ship came to dock at uh, Mpulungu Harbor. Uh, I didn't, I didn't, I boarded it just to sit on it and look around uh, but I didn't ride on that ship. One day I made I may have a ride on it. So if you've ever ridden on the Liemba, MV Liemba, or SS Liemba, I think there were two. I'm not sure. But if you've ever ridden on the Liemba, or on any boat in Zambia, please tell us your experience. I'd like to hear um, and see what, what experience you've had. So basically, that's Zambia transport, traveling around Zambia. Um, air, boat, bus, and train. Tell me which ones you've used, if you've used all of them. Um, 
and let's let's talk about it thanks for watching my video i hope you enjoyed it please subscribe to the to the channel to the kumba guy it's very simple just go to the subscribe button click on it make sure the bell is on for notifications and you'll be receiving notifications whenever i post a new video Subs uh, follow the kumba guy on facebook as well uh, and you'll be seeing my notifications and my posts on facebook i'm the kumba guy let's go